Okay, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a weekly warm wax review. I never know what I'm calling it. <laughs> I feel like I change it every week. But this is my, there are the things that I melted through the last week. I kind of stop myself when I go to my melting basket and I kind of start just rummaging through and I can never find anything. So my next basket, I'm gonna try and put more of a variety because I only melt certain things in my living room area because I need stronger wax in here in general. I And I was running low. I like, I kept looking for things. I'm like, is that gonna throw in my living room? I don't know. So next melting basket, I need to be more aware of that. But basically once I start kind of like tossing things aside and I feel like I'm constantly like looking for something in my melting basket, I'm like, okay, time to do a warm reviews and get a new melting basket. So now my last melting basket, I think I uploaded it on, was it Saturday or Sunday? Today's Wednesday. Yeah, today's Wednesday. And I it was uploaded late. I had filmed that like a long time ago. So if it seemed like out of place or whatever, it was. <laughs> so yeah. All right, let's go ahead and just get right into it because these keep getting longer and longer and longer. So the first thing I have from the bathing garden is blueberry brown sugar tea. And this is blueberry crumble blends with brown sugar, sweet black cardamom tea. So this one was a medium blueberry scent. Like to me, most blueberries are very, very strong. This one was just like a medium type of blueberry. It was muted though, and I think it was muted by that brown sugar. I didn't get a lot of tea in this one. This one threw very strong. I would say about an eight out of 10, and I feel like it was very long lasting. Like I had put in a, uh, let's see, where did I put it first? Oh, I put it in my kitchen first, and then, so three cubes in my kitchen, and then, no. How did I do, no, four cubes in my kitchen, two cubes in my daughter's room, and I liked it better. Ramona had said something about this in one of her videos, and I totally agree, and I'm gonna say it too. Sometimes warming things in a different space totally changes your experience with the scent. So I enjoyed this in my daughter's room versus the kitchen, just because in the, my kitchen I kept smelling it. I don't love blueberry scents all that much, but in my daughter's room, like I loved it. It was the perfect scent in there. I, you know, I wasn't smelling it all day. So yeah, and it just kept going and going. It was really a good performer. So this one I probably wouldn't get again, but if you like blueberry scents, this is a nice one to try. That brown sugar is really a nice, it kind of like kicks that blueberry into a different level than just a regular like bright blueberry scent. So really like that one. This one was interesting, <laughs> Tweedledee Tea. And I never saw the pictures. There's Tweedledee and Tweedle Dumb. It's kind of hard to see them though. Cute picture though. I always like her graphics. So this is Soothing Simple Green Tea Leaves. And I feel like this one was just such a simple scent that I really didn't get a throw from it. Well, not that you can't get a throw from a single scent, but I feel like, I don't know. I just, I didn't get a scent throw from this. I don't know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Really, I was going somewhere and now I don't know where. <laughs> I think I was thinking yesterday, I was like, well, I wonder if it, maybe because it only has one scent oil in it is why it's not throwing as well, but I get stuff from vendors that's one oil and it throws great. So that doesn't really make any sense. Now, when I put it in, so the first time I did it, I did it in the living room and kitchen area, which is a horrible idea. I couldn't smell anything. Then I did one cube, my last cube in the bathroom, and I got just a very faint scent. I can't even tell you what it smells like because I could barely smell it. I would say it was a probably a one out of 10 scent throw. Like you got one whiff of it and then it was gone. So yeah, that's a huge like no-go for me. Again, I don't like, I get pretty good performance with Bathing Garden, but that one was just, wow. I was like, really? <laughs> So this is from Empire Alchemy, Blue Agave and Gain. I think I had, did I have a whole one of these or what, did I just have a little part? I can't remember where I warmed it. Did I put? No. I think this was in my bathroom or the guest bathroom. So mostly I got the Blue Agave scent. I didn't really smell Gain as I know it. Like when I think of Gain, I, I smell something in particular. And to me, this is more Blue Agave, kind of like green, definitely green notes. 
definite green notes and I, I'm not really sure. I think blue agave is kind of sweet. This one was really pretty though. I like this one. I don't remember the green notes being that strong on warm. I can smell them in the container pretty strongly, but when I was warming it actually in the bathroom, it was actually a very sweet, pretty scent. So the sun was strong and I mostly got the blue agave. Not so much gain. I went ahead and I finished this Invasion of the Body Snatchers. This is from Elfie Waxy Wonders, Waffle Cone, Butter Cookies, and Sweet Cream. This one I warmed with my mini melter bag of Blackberry from Rose Girls. So I think I only had half a scent shot cup left and I cut the scent shot, the half scent shot in half. So it was like fourths. And then I added a little bit of Blackberry and it was actually really nice. It was a nice scent. I, I think I said in my last warm reviews I warmed this one by itself and it was too... Like it was pretty good, but I don't like blender scents like on their own. So yeah, so this blackberry <laughs> I have, this bag looks horrible. So I have two by two bags and three by three bags. So what I've been doing recently is taking my mini melters. If I have like two left and I'm not going to use them, like I just want to save them. I rebag them because these bags are just looking horrendous. I had bought two by two and three by three bags like three years ago with the intent of doing that and I just never followed through. So, let's see, I wanna talk about these two together because they, it was so weird, I had warmed these two at the same time. So this is Empire Alchemy Zephyr by the Sea. This is Fresh Clean Air, Baby's Breath, Clover, Sea Salt, and Lilac. And this one is Leprechaun from Supercharts and you can barely read the Irish Springs, Four Leaf Clovers, and White Tea. You can barely read that. <laughs> like, So the funny thing was, is when I was warming these, I never knew like if Clover was just like on this one. I never knew if Four Leaf Clovers was just kind of like a joke because it's called Leprechaun. But I actually could smell the Clover from this in here. So there's definitely a Clover scent. And yeah, I could definitely smell it. I just wanted to point that out because I always was like, is four leaf clovers like just like kind of like a joke? You know how some people put like random things on their scent notes, but they're not really in there. Yeah, so this one was actually very pretty. I did this one in the kitchen. I divided it into thirds. And this one to me was just a really pretty clover scent. Like that's what I was smelling was the clover in there. I feel like the fresh clean air probably came out the most. It was just a pretty scent. Like I, I don't really know what to say about this one except I was just smelling the clover because I had leprechaun going at the same time. But that one did pretty good. I'd say probably about a seven out of 10 in my kitchen. But I do use the whole, I do use the whole scent shot. I divide it into thirds and I put it in three different warmers. Sometimes I wonder if people like when they say, oh, I don't get a scent throw from something or this doesn't work for me or Whatever, I sometimes wonder how much wax people are using because you definitely can overdo it if you put too much wax in, but you definitely cannot get it scent if you don't put enough wax in. Like if you just tr are trying to do like, if you take like a fifth of this scent shot and you're gonna expect like a good throw and put it in one warmer, um, I have news for you. <laughs> no, I mean, sometimes, I don't know, it might work for some people, but you just have to kind of figure out what works for you. I feel like sometimes to really get a NOAA company, you have to kind of be willing to warm a little bit of their wax to kind of get a feel for it, I guess. So Leprechaun, this is one of my favorites. I put this in our bedroom. My husband really likes this one. This is a nice, well, this is a very bright and like kind of like wake you up kind of scent. It's really pretty, I think. I feel like that white tea, I don't love white tea, but in this one, the white tea really is kind of the star of the show, I feel like. You can definitely smell it in there, but I think it complements the scent. The clover's in there, and then I've never smelled, I think my husband actually uses Irish Springs. I don't know, the Irish Springs just smells good. It's just a good scent. I would say if you like these kind of scents, I would say try it. I think people are kind of afraid of that one, but Angie had kind of turned me on to that one. All right, so the next one I have is from Woof Wicks, which is lavender soda. And this one, I actually did the whole clamshell 
in my living room and kitchen area. So I just divvy it up like three cubes in here and then three cubes in the kitchen all in different warmers. So I do one cube, one cube, one cube. And then in my living room, I do two cubes and then one cube. I do need to change up my living room situation though because I feel like I'm not getting the best throw from certain vendors. So I feel like I need, either need to add another warmer in here or yes, I need to do something because I feel like this space is getting lost with the AC on. So lavender soda, I put, I got a six out of 10 on this. Lavender soda in the past for me from other vendors has been very strong. This one was more of like a medium. I could definitely smell, like I love lavender soda. I think it's one of the prettier scents out there, but I feel like this one was just kind of mediocre. Like it did smell very good when you could, um, it did smell very good when you were in the room or whatever, but it just wasn't as strong as the other lavender sodas that I've had. I would have liked it to be a little bit stronger. Salty Siren from the Bathing Garden. This one is the saltiest, let's see, what is it called? The saltiest lime margarita something or another. <laughs> so I love this scent. I feel like I need to do like a, I need to grab like another margarita scent and compare the two because I feel like, I don't know if I'm biased, but I feel like this one is my favorite. I feel like this one has like the saltier scent to it. I don't know why. Like I had another lime margarita sitting around here and I should have pulled that out to see how it compares. But I just feel like I love this one. I had to pick some more up. She did a 4th of July, what was it, a comic book restock. And I saw she had these so I had to go in and get some because I... I just love this scent. I warm it every year and I did one cube in my bathroom. That's the last cube I had and it did well as usual. I mean, I, I'm not really surprised or shocked by that. So I had a very old Jaws scent. This scent just always amazes me. It's pretty like, it's not even soft, but it's soft smelling if that makes sense, but I can always smell it in my living room, like no matter what, like Super Tarts is my go-to for my living room. I never have problem with getting a scent throw in here. Her wax does, her, let's see, Super Tarts, Destination Wax, and Teddy Bees all perform amazing in my living room. Strongest throws out of, you know, the vendors I've tried. So yeah, I always try to like do other vendors in here and it just never works so i'm gonna keep trying with other vendors but i mean my if i want something really to smell i'll always pull out super tarts destination wax teddy bees so jaws okay so i went ahead and i mixed this with i've been trying to get through this potion pack of cotton candy frosting this bad boy is so old but you can smell the cotton candy frosting with that jaws so basically i was trying to do Chrissy's Remains, which is cotton candy frosting and the Jaws scent. So I love that combo. I think that's one of my favorite combos besides Get Out of the Water, which is the strawberry jam and Jaws. So yeah, and this cotton candy frosting, I love her cotton candy frosting. I don't know if it's just me being like, or being that I've smelled it so much in the last couple of months because I feel like I've been using cotton candy frosting with everything, but I really like hers. It's strong. You can definitely smell it against that Jaws. And it, like the mixes she does with Jaws, I just, I love. So yeah, this one was a great performer. You can see the clamshell is super old. I've never had a problem with these clamshells. You know, like you can see, um, I know everybody loves to do the <laughs> squishy, but I mean, I never have a problem. They don't leak through. Like they don't, I had some Scentsy clamshells, a like a couple years ago that I had to toss because they were actually like leaking on the sides. So I don't know what was up with that, but Twilight, Rosalie, this one has been beat up. I had this in my fall melting box and it, <laughs> it just, it got beat up. So it, it got like, I was tossing things around in there, like searching for things. So that's why it looks so bad. This is Twisted Peppermint and Coconut Cream Pie. I didn't tell you what Jaws was because I feel like I talk about Jaws all the time. So, um, yeah. One thing, too, on that note with Jaws, not Jaws in particular, but Salty Sea Air Scents, I'm getting totally sick of right now. I, I think I've overdone it. Like, I feel like I do a Salty Sea Air, like, every week, and I'm just over it for a while, so I need to take a break. <laughs> 
So this is twisted peppermint and coconut cream pie. I don't love Rosalie. I don't know why. I just, I can't get on board with this one. There's just something about it. I don't, I don't like the peppermint in here. I, I don't know. I just don't, I don't know why. I don't, and I should love Rosalie. I mean, it's pretty basic and it sounds good, but no. It's strong. It throws 9 out of 10 always for me. It's, you know, obviously the ones you don't like the most are the ones that are going to be the strongest, right? Kind of a rando one that I warmed up this week is a Better Homes and Gardens Tropical Pina Colada. This is just a pina colada. I mean, you could definitely smell that pineapple in there. That was one of the things that I kept smelling. And then it's just a tropical... It's just how you would think. Creamy, tropical, pineapple. Yeah, smells just like the drink. Um, this one, like, I feel like, you know, I don't know. I'm kind of like, I don't love the Walmart waxes. I mean, I, I guess maybe I need, I mean, I do have, I have found a few good Walmart waxes, but they never, like, super excite me. I'm never like, ooh. I, you know like I love this one I think I need to find some of my favorites and that will make me like more excited about it but yeah so King Orin maybe I don't know I, I think this is Aquaman right is it Aquaman so this is crisp brain salty water seaweed patchouli and cedarwood this was such a unique scent this is probably the first time i've ever had a scent that i was like oh this is like definitely different than i've had in the past this is like the scent if you were to go like deep in the ocean with a lot of seaweed in it like i feel like that's what this would smell like so this one to me is one of those ones that either people are going to love it or going to hate it because there's a very strong patchouli kind of a green smell um, but it is strong, super long-lasting. I could put two cubes in the bedroom and it would go all day. Yeah, this one definitely has something in it. I feel like if I were to smell it too long, it would be headache-inducing. But when it's warming, it's fine. I think it's just that patchouli note. I mostly get the seaweed and patchouli. And then I feel like in the background is like the crisp rain. But that one is one that I feel like people are either going to love or going to hate. But another great one, strong performer from Super Tarts. If you have a man in your life or if you like patchouli, you would definitely like that one, I feel like. The next one I have is Fairy Dust. And this is Fresh Balsam Raspberry and Cake Batter. I think I was almost finished with this. So I went ahead and just threw this in my living room one day because I just, you know, wanted like a soft scent. And this one, the more and more, someone suggested it to me and the more and more I smell it, I'm like, this is a Christmas scent to me. <laughs> it was never a Christmas scent to me. But, I don't know, this one's just good. I think the balsam and cake batter really like play nicely together. They just, it works. It just tones down that balsam a little bit and the raspberry is just a slight hint. It's not super strong in there also does that look like weed to anyone else it looks like a weed bud right there that's what i always think of when i look at this <laughs> i like her label so i like how she's got them like themed out the next one i have is berry good cookie so this is the old style label obviously so this is a houseberry scent and sweet sugar cookie so this one to me is a little bit stronger on that houseberry scent a little bit lighter on the cookie to me I wish the cookie was just a little bit stronger in here so it would be more balanced. But it's a good scent overall. Like, I do like this scent. Just for me personally, I would like to smell more of like a really good sugar cookie in here. But yeah, this one's good. It threw a 7 out of 10. And I put it with a stronger berry, lighter on the cookie. So this one I would definitely recommend everyone trying i think it's just a good overall scent for everyone to kind of try let's see let's move these in there shall we okay this one why don't i have you know what i didn't get oh wait here we go okay so this is lavender meringue mint from the bathing garden and i love that girl on there is she wearing a wig i don't know why but she reminds me of a ballerina <laughs> She doesn't have point shoes on or anything, but she's got like a little ballet skirt looking thing on. Okay, Lavender Meringue Minty 
lavender meringue, minty marshmallow, and sugar. So this one is definitely minty. I feel like mostly I was getting a mint scent. That's all, you know, I really can't say I got like lavender in here. Maybe just a touch, but to me, I mostly got like a soft mint. So I really don't have much to say about that one. I don't, you know, honestly, I don't remember this one that well, but I don't feel like I would need another one. Like I didn't love, love it. I don't know. I might have to warm it in a different room. Kind of like I was saying about what Ramona had talked about as far as sometimes warming things in different spaces. Sometimes things smell different or they have a different impact on you. So we'll see. Okay, let's grab some bags here. This is my bag stash. <laughs> Let's get through this. Okay, Sassy Girl Aroma, Beach Blanket Bingo, Beach Night Marshmallow and Sugar Cookies. I like this one a little bit better because the marshmallow and sugar cookie was a little bit more present, but it's still predominantly a Beach Nights. Like, I mean, it's Beach Nights. Like, to me, all of her Beach Night blends come up mostly Beach Nights. So, but the sugar cookie and marshmallow kind of toned it down a little bit, which was nice. Uh, let's do another Sassy Girl Aroma here. This is Montego Bay. So this is, let's see, Beach Nights, um, Juicy Blackberry topped with an extra dose of marshmallow. This one I just put was a typical Beach Night scents. Like mostly I just got Beach Nights. I don't know that I got any extra blackberry or anything like that. These are not going to lay nicely. I have a feeling. Okay, the next one I have is, oh, and the scent throw on Beach Nights is always pretty decent. So, Rainbow Melts out of the shower. This is Shampoo, Dove, White Clouds. I feel like the stronger notes in this one were Shampoo and Dove, with the White Clouds being a little bit more subtle. I did 9 out of 10. This one lasted all day. I just had a one circle left, like it was a sun and I put it in the bedroom and it was such a good scent. I would probably find this one again or try to get this one again. It was really nice. I like that one. Okay, Rose Girls Summer Lovin' 2.0. This one, the first time I warmed it, I did not like it. And again, as Ramona had stated before, sometimes warming it in a different area, you know, gives you a different experience. So this is Apple Mango Tango. Marshmallow smoothie, campfire marshmallow, vanilla sandalwood. For some reason, when I warmed this in a smaller space, it did so much better. Like, I loved it so much more. So, to me, this was a subdued apple mango tango, and you really got that campfire marshmallow and the vanilla sandalwood more when it was in smaller spaces. Sometimes I feel like in smaller spaces, you can really get more scent notes. But I really love this one in the bathroom. Like, I kind of wish I had some more of this one because it was just really good in there. So. All right, so Latte Whipped Cream from Sassy Girl Aroma. This is Sweet Whipped Cream with Coffee and Caramel. I, you know, it's just a creamy coffee. Like, I wasn't super hyped about it. And I remember when this had first come out, I loved latte whipped cream. Like, I remember getting, like, three bags of this because I was so freaking in love with it. And now I'm just kind of, like, I'm kind of over coffee, to be honest. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, so, this one here is Sunset on the Beach. This is Blackberry Jam Butter Cookies, Vanilla Waffle Cone, Beach Night, and Marshmallow. So, this one was definitely... This is probably one of the only Beach Nights blends that actually the Blackberry Jam Butter Cookie really comes out in. To me, the uh, Blackberry Jam Butter Cookie is almost the same strength as the Beach Nights. So this one, if you want something a little bit different than just a straight up Beach Nights, this is the one for you. However, like I said, and I will just say this one more time. So a couple of videos ago, I had said that I'm not buying from Sassy Girl Aroma. I didn't really state why or what had happened. What I really wanted people to do if they were curious about, and I'm not saying if you asked any questions on that video that you were like wrong or anything, but what I really wanted people to do was just go investigate that for themselves. I don't wanna tell anyone, like I don't wanna state my opinion and then anyone 
I don't want to influence anyone to like I want you to go and make your own opinion do you guys know what I'm saying so yeah so that's why I just kind of just said my thing and then like left it at that but really what like I wanted to happen was people to go and just form their own opinion just research it and see what you thought on your own without me being like oh my gosh you know blah 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 you know that kind of thing so uh vcs apple cinnamon ice cream man this was i just had two half tiles yeah two half tiles this is baked cinnamon apples vanilla ice cream vanilla sugar vanilla sugar waffle cone and vanilla <laughs> i thought it said waters wafers <laughs> So this one was probably a 6 out of 10. I don't know. It was just okay. I had it in my daughter's bedroom, so I wasn't like in the room the whole time. But I probably would have rather had that one in the bathroom. I feel like I would have got more scent notes that way. So this one I thought... <laughs> I thought this is one of my favorite scents. But it's pumpkin pecan milkshake, not pumpkin pecan zucchinis from Ava's Country Cupboard. So this one I was a little bit disappointed in because I was expecting my pumpkin pecan milkshake, which is super good. I love that scent. This was poured 11-16-2016. Still did really well. I love Ava's Country Cupboard, the things that I have tried from her. But I really wanted that pumpkin pecan milkshake. That's my favorite scent. The zucchini in that one is not very, like, I don't know. I wasn't impressed with the zucchini in there, and it just wasn't the same. So... It's not a repurchase, but for being as old as it was, it did actually pretty well. I'm going to pull this bag out of here because... So this one is the Wishing Tree and Count Your Blessings from VCS. I think Candy, I think this is your handwriting, sent this to me. I think she sent me like a little a quarter or half of a loaf. I can't remember now. But I don't remember what the Wishing Tree is, and I can't remember what the scent notes are for Count Your Blessings, but to me, it smells like a very strong dryer sheet. That's mostly what I get is dryer sheet scent. I don't know, does anyone else get that? Have, has anyone else had that scent? I'm gonna move these, because these are getting way too, like these are getting out of control. <laughs> the bags, oh my gosh, okay. All right, so let's go ahead and let's talk about Teddy Bees really quick. So, I love you to the moon and back. This is sweet and fresh lavender, green apple, roses, jasmine, oak moss, musk, and vanilla. This is a lot of stuff. This one, oh, I need to smell it again because this one was so pretty. Yeah, there's a lot going on in there. I mean, it's hard to say when you get scents like this, it's hard to say like what exactly you're smelling. Nothing comes out predominant to me like I don't smell roses. I don't smell green apple. It just all mixes together to make this really, I put it as fruity, floral, and feminine. <clears throat> so yeah, you could definitely get fruit. You could definitely get a feminine scent and you could definitely get a little bit of floral, but it's nothing is overpowering in here. Like it's just a pretty scent. It's like one of those that just mixes up together really nice and it's a pretty scent. So, <clears throat> and that one did really strong. I am so impressed with Teddy B's. Like, I swear, all of her stuff has been throwing fabulous in my house. So, I can't say enough. I, ha I oh yeah, I was going to say I haven't or ordered from her since my last two orders from, or three orders from, like, last year or the year before. But I did order from her recent pre-order, a very small order. I'm not trying to go insane <laughs> with um, some of these. Although, if some of you guys talk to me. You guys know I've kind of flown off the rails a little bit, but I'm I'm trying. I just I think I went on too long of a break. Like I took a six to seven month hiatus from wax, so uh, I'm blaming it on that. Okay, so Rainbow Melts Whip It Frozen Pineapple Chunks and Sweet Coconut Milk. This one did really well. So what happened is I so I don't love this scent. I do feel like if you're a pineapple person, I think for me. The sweet coconut milk is just too much. Like it's too sweet. It's too coconutty. Is that even a word? I don't know, but it's just, it's too much for me. So for that reason, I kind of like pineapple with like bakery. Like I really love like pineapple cupcake type scents. Those really do it for me. So what I did is I took fake and bake from Super Tarts and I mixed these two together. And this one actually was really good. It was a really nice blend. It was more fake and bake and less pineapple, but the combination of the two just really works. So fake and bake was zucchini bread, sweet sugar cookie, and sweet cream fragrance. So 
one of the things I'm having with Fake and Bake is it gets really buttery on me. But mixed with this uh, Rainbow Melts was actually, it didn't do like too much of that buttery stuff. It just, it worked with that pineapple really well. I love this scent. I loved the, the mix that I did with that. So super excited about that. Also, I still had some Whip It left. So what I did is I mixed Whip, whip It with the last little bit of brown sugar I had from Super Tart. And then also I had a little bit of, let's see, let me take this off. I had a little bit of L3 Jelly Donuts Zucchini Bread Sugar Cookies. And this was stronger on the Zucchini Bread Sugar Cookies and lighter on the Jelly Donuts. I mostly got the Zucchini Bread Sugar Cookie. And this one was a really nice blend. I really liked blending all of these together. It just, it smelled really good. So yeah. So, sometimes if something doesn't work for you, try mixing it with stuff, uh, you know, and you don't have to put, like I put the, like the L3, I put it in its own warmer and then like the Whip It, I put in its own warmer and then I mixed it with the brown sugar. And then I just had this one kind of going on its own. So you can mix it different things in different warmers and just have, you know, like different scents going, but they all kind of like, they're all bakery or they're all fresh or, you know, whatever you want to do. Uh, what else did I do? Oh yeah. Okay. A couple more things and then that is it. Let's see. Oh yeah. I put fake and bake was nine out of 10. Fake and bake always does really well for me. It's a strong scent. Um, as I said before, most super tarts is pretty strong. I mean, I have had some medium lighter throws, but for the most part, it's usually a dependable wax. So snuggle warm vanilla sugar from sugar and spice. Yeah, sugar and spice gourmet soy, I believe is. Well, actually that's her website, gourmetsoyonline.com, but it's just sugar and spice is what I always call it. This one, I don't know what was going on. I, this one was in the living room. Like I said, I'm having trouble in the living room. This one smells really good. I didn't get very much warm vanilla sugar. It's mostly snuggle. But I really didn't get the throw I wanted out of this. It's more kind of like a medium throw. I could kind of smell it, but not great. Probably try to warm this in a different room next time. Maybe try the kitchen, like in thirds. And then this one though, however, I did this one with Cotton Candy Frosting again from Super Tarts. This is Salty Sea Air from Sugar and Spice, and this did much better. So I don't, I don't know. It's probably about a medium high. I think the cotton candy frosting kind of saved it. So yeah, this is just great with cotton candy frosting, Salty Sea Air. Always love like mixing that with that. Uh, let's see. I have Wild Aloha from Empire Alchemy. So this is Wild Madagascar Vanilla Coconut Water coconut, bamboo, I don't know if that's coconut, bamboo, and then vetiver, I'm not sure how that goes. But anyways, this was a sweet coconut scent to me. Yeah, I had this one going for a couple of days in different, different rooms. This one to me is very sweet. I think it's the wild Madagascar vanilla is really like the strongest scent. I mean, the coconut is just, it's in there and it makes it a little bit tropical, but to me, it's very, very sweet. I don't really get any vetiver or what I would consider bamboo. So this was about a seven out of 10 cent throw. So Empire Alchemy is kind of a more chill on scent. It's more of like a medium, medium high. You can put you can, you know, use it in your kitchen. Like I said, I have three different warmers in there, so I'll put a good amount in each warmer in there and I get a nice throw. Like I can definitely smell it. It smells good. It's not overpowering. So I do like Empire Alchemy for that reason because it's more of a, like you don't always get like a super strong throw which sometimes can be better than, you know, having something be super strong. Okay, so the next thing I have, and she's got beautiful blends too. Like you can't really beat her blends. All right, so this next one I have is, um, this is the Rose Girl Scoopable Tart Wax, but she's no longer open. So this is Strawberry Jam Cream Cake. This is Strawberry Jam, Strawberries and Cream. 
I loved this scent, although I put it in my living room. I, I just had a little bit left. So what I do, someone was asking, I think on the L3 boards, they were asking about, so I put these in the freezer for about five to 10 minutes. I mean, 10 minutes, you know, I really don't time it. I just, I put it in there and I get back to it when I can. I don't leave it in there forever though, but uh, I leave it in there for probably about a good 10 minutes. And then when you open it, like it literally just like dumps right out. So beforehand, I used to have to like bang it on the counter to get it to pop out. Like you can, I think you can get it just while it's still like, in its normal state like if you ha if it was still full right now you could just you know bang it on your counter really hard you kind of like move the jar like you kind of squeeze the jar a little bit and it helps it out but the freezer method is seriously the way to go and then what I do is I just I chop it into so like I would chop right there right there right there so I chop it into little like round like little rounds and then whatever I don't use I just like I'll chop it again down the middle so it makes it into like little half circles so that way it fits back in the jar without having to like try to stick it back in the way it came out if that makes sense anyways I made the mistake of putting this in my living room and it just I couldn't smell it as good as I could the first time in the kitchen I had great luck with this in the kitchen this just smells so good my friend Angie had told me about this one when I talk about Angie I'm talking about Angie wax goddess oh god <laughs> really okay anyway strawberry jam strawberries and cream this one is really really good so yeah like that one and I think that's it yeah that is it so I'm gonna go pull my new basket because I am dying to get some new scents and yeah that is it if you guys warmed anything great this week definitely let me know what you did I did finish quite a bit I do like these warming videos because I do feel like I am definitely getting through a lot of wax and I'm not even like really before I think when I was warming I like I felt like I always needed to get through a ton of wax so I could do like a longer melt reviews or whatever and then I was just like that's stupid so I just started warming like what I wanted to I probably change out my warmers twice a day if something doesn't like really sit well with me then I'll maybe it'll be like three times a day but for the most part, I just change out my warmers twice a day. And I guess for a week, that would be about, what, 14 cents? Uh, does that make sense? I, shoot. How many warmers do I have again? I don't remember. I, I, okay, I don't know. I don't know where, where I got 14 cents from. <laughs> Jeez, forget that. All right, so anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. And I will see you guys in the next video. Okay, bye guys.